we have to come awake that we were born the Lord. Isn't that a kind of a strong statement? I mean, you look at it and you go, that's ridiculous. I can't do that. Well, maybe we're wrong. I don't think you can have a Lord that you could relate to unless that Lord had done everything that you can and have done unless he has done it all. All. Just think if you were praying to the Lord and you were an alcoholic and he never had tasted anything, didn't know anything about alcohol, you might think, well, how do you really understand how I feel? How do you really understand that I smoke 30 packs of cigarettes a day? How do you really understand that I'm hooked on heroin? How do you really understand all this? How do you relate to me and how do I relate to you? What is the means by which we do that? Jesus Christ was born in a manger signifying wherever we find ourselves, that's when we birth. Right now, wherever you are, inside of you, you can start rebirthing, re-Christing. And there must be innocence. And to have innocence, there must be naivety. And to have that, there must be forgetfulness. And to have forgetfulness, you must have done forgiveness. And so we enter into Christ's action, which is forgiving. And we forget. And we enter into the awareness of newness and innocence. And once again, Christ is born among us. And even through sadness and upsetness and other thoughts and straying away from what we're talking about here and still coming back, you still did it and you still did it. But if you did it and you don't keep doing it, it won't count that you did it. Do you understand that? It only counts that you keep doing it. Each day, when you get out of your manger, fluff up the hay. Very <laughs> special.